as we were searching this boat, we ended up uh, finding some good loot. We haven't really looked in the boxes yet too much, but we did find a good number of boxes, a number of crates in this ship. Here's, here's where we left off last time. We came up here for air after searching the bottom of the cargo area. anything which I already felt like I pretty much scanned the whole area and as I went back in there for that double look that, that, that extra that extra search time I ended up getting poisoned right there so you know we're just we're gonna work our way out inside check our vital seeds if we learn anything from the match. And at that point, we checked our watch and saw that we had, uh, we were, we were, we were dehydrated, as well as being poisoned. And being poisoned isn't going to help with the hydration or the, or the, um, the hunger meter. So, uh, you know, I decided it's about time to wrap this job up for searching the boat, and I try to get together some of these, uh, some of these, uh, materials here. And we'll pick up our and then, uh, try to break free some of these buoy balls, because we want to start building a raft so we can search other islands. Uh, the island we started on over there, you see our light, our light is glowing beautifully on that life raft, making like a nice orange light, nice, nice makeshift lighthouse for our island. We won't see it super far, but we will see it so far. There was a snake right there, so maybe that's what poisoned us, but that was on the outside. You know, maybe we were too close to the roof of the boat and it got us through. I don't know, but we got poisoned. So we uh, continue on and uh, get some air real quick and then go back down trying to get these barrels because they're going to also make a good uh, a good crafting tool for, for our boat. I'm... I'm um, I apologize about the sound levels of the water. The uh, I'm going to change my audio settings when I go back to playing the game next. However, um, my audio wave uh, rebuilder wasn't working on my shot cut, so I couldn't really uh, change the audio of um, certain parts of the the um, the edit the file that uh, the original file of the the content capture so uh, but here we are we're, we're just we're carrying some of these barrels over trying to get them to shore before we dehydrate uh, because we do want to get to the shore before we dehydrate as that'll make a big impact on the rest of our uh, watch statistics all our little um all the all the little information that we get uh like the uh, hunger uh, we, we don't we don't gotta worry about the sunburn right now. The this was about uh, half a year ago or so, so it might be different. But I know even when it came out years before that, you were always able to be in the water and not be affected. might have to be swimming. Um, you, I, um, you might have to fact check that one for yourselves. Uh, but I think I remember being able to uh, just be in the water to not get sunburned. As you can see here, we got a whole bunch of tires, a whole bunch of barrels, got some booze in my backpack, or my back pocket, whatever, you know. Uh, we didn't make it. But you know they're cool to have. They definitely come in handy. Um, 
especially when you can use the crates in the inventory slots uh, as more inventory slots. So really each crate to get through the inventory slot per inventory slot that the crate takes up. Grabbing a couple more of the loose barrels that we didn't make all the way to the, to the uh, campsite or, or where we're putting all our boat pieces. Get a couple pushes and the barrels toss them over there. Then we clean, then we, we grab up some more of our tires, get them pushed over there. Grab that one, grab that one, a little chuck a roo. Up at a time in this game, really. Nothing really happens fast in this game. Um, getting attacked by a shark, that happens fast. Um, poisonous animals, poisonous fish popping up out of nowhere, poisonous snakes, that, that happens pretty fast. But um, a lot of the a lot of the collecting the resources and the building and stuff, that's just stuff that, you know, just like anything, it takes time. Just like it takes time for the poisonous creatures to infect you. As you can see, we got a nice lineup of tires here. We got a good, good bit of tires. And, uh, I'm not sure what I was doing. Maybe just stacking them to make them look a little nicer. I don't know. I'm not sure what I was doing. But probably stacking them to make them a little bit more, more, more of a new tile, but clearly I'm kind of Still at this point, I'm just working away, you know, just lost in the lost in the the work of the island, you know. And at that point, I think uh, I realized it was about time to head back to the campsite. As you can see, I went and grabbed me some of that water I needed. And we we're back up to half a meter after four swigs of water. After four gulps of water, we're only at half of the thing. But that's that poison, man. That poison will get you. So what we're going to do here is uh, look through these menus, the crafting menus. Try to find something that we can make to fix our poison. We see an antidote, but we have to make this coconut flask first. Now, if, pro tip, you can drink the water in the coconut flask before using the coconut flask as a crafting weapon. So uh, if you need the water or don't want to waste the water, drink it before you use that coconut flask uh, as, a, as a crafting weapon. Made myself an extra stone knife. Picked up a couple of sticks. Grabbed a stick over here from my, from my build. Because all my parts are there on my screen. Nowadays they actually have a... Uh, uh, system in a, a mechanic in the game that you don't have to have the crafting items on your person. You don't have to have them in your personal inventory. They can, you can just be looking at them in the in a certain distance range while they're on the ground. And you can use those items as you uh, as, as like they as, as the same as you used to uh, while having to have them. Here I am making a couple of spears. I probably needed a craftsmanship level up right here. I think that's what I'm doing because uh, normally I make some spears, but uh, this early in the game I'm not too worried about the spears. As long as I got a fishing spear, uh, and food, um, there's not really too many major threats on the first island besides a couple crabs that'll bite you and that's your biggest threat. They don't even really do much. And once you start traversing to the other islands, that's when you need your spear. Uh, you, obviously, like you've seen in previous episodes, if you watched them, you do need the spear to take on the sharks. You need at least a spear or a knife or something. You need some kind of weapon to damage them. I'm not sure how long it takes if you have something like the axe or a stone knife or a refined knife or whatnot, but uh, the spear just, you know, works the best. You know, it, it is just a weapon. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I was probably, I probably took a break from playing right there, and that's what that pause menu was. 
and then I came back to the game here and finished building, uh, finished putting down some of my boat parts. We had a runaway buoy ball, so we throw that back with the pow. And as you can see, the sun's coming up soon. Uh, so I'm, I'm uh, going to take a little nap ski here, save the game. But I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go uh, try to mess with the audio settings because I don't want to have to uh, mute an uh, unbearable water s sound level. like So, you know, uh, uh, but... but I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, there will be more of these coming out. Um, you know, got some other games in the works too. And uh, I think we're going to have some good little series going on here. I appreciate you if uh, you were uh, interested in the Stranded Deep videos. I know it's been a while since I uploaded one of these. Uh, I've just been playing a lot of other games and never had a, a moment where I thought of p spending an hour uh, getting some time in on this one 